Good afternoon from Tbilisi, Georgia. We are getting a very late start today because of how late we got back from filming our video yesterday. Yesterday we went around the city and tried so many amazing foods, but today we're actually going to get out and see the town a little bit more. And right now we are on our way to get some lunch. We decided to get our King College streak out of the way early today. So we're gonna head over to a cable car to get taken up to the fortress. You can also hike to it pretty easily from where we are, but who doesn't love a good cable car ride? to the cable car we noticed right behind us they have a piece of the Berlin Wall. They've actually had this in a couple of the cities that we've been to. This one has a plaque saying that it was actually a gift from the uh, German government as a symbol of friendship between Germany and Georgia. So that's interesting. It's a little piece of information and we are just right next to the cable car. struggles with the language a little bit but here this time is Finn Marshall He's I, I can't I can't get Matlova down I always say Matlova I can't do it yeah thank you is Matlova and he just keeps switching the vowels every like 60% of the time I can't do it I'm just happy sometimes it happens to him because it's usually me That cable car really just spit us out right at Narikala, the fortress that pretty much overlooks the whole city of Tbilisi, as you can see right behind us already. That view going off the cable car was awesome. That was so pretty. The nausea was the best part, honestly. Oh, you were nauseous? <laughs> and this poor motion sickness is getting worse and worse. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. The leaves are changing still, and it's so gorgeous. <laughs> One interesting fact about the city of Tbilisi is the name actually means warm place. And it's because there are a ton of natural springs and baths that are made from the natural springs in the city. And we are just right outside of this church that's inside of the inside of the fortress. If you walk up to the edge, it looks right out on this one like block or a few blocks that are just completely coated with bass and they just look super cool because all the bass have domes on them. We actually went in one a few days ago, but they have like probably four to six different baths right in this area. And they're just a fun thing to do here while in Tbilisi and they've been in use for an incredibly long time. And it's just a really cool practice here that we have gotten to enjoy. I think the city has the coolest skyline. Is that what you call it? What we're looking at, or are we on the skyline? So, I don't know. <laughs> well, I think this city has the coolest view that of any city that we've been to. From this fortress, you have the river right in front of you, and the cliff side along the river. You have all of the bathhouses, the domed bathhouses that you can see to the right, and to the left, there's this like modern architecture, and there's just like there's a mix of everything. There's a massive cathedral or church right in front of us. <laughs> this is just, I can't stop looking at it. It's so pretty. I didn't realize there's another way to go around to get up this, because this staircase looks super dangerous, but I think you can get up over here too. Yeah, the steps are really close to the edge. It's <laughs> 
pretty thin platform. But the views are amazing. I assume these are the places to throw rocks on people coming below? I assume so. It's not really a straight down view though. It'd be kind of hard to... No. But you, you have multiple options. Look how, look at that drop. Look at what that drop would have been. That's a long Shh. drop. Not too bad. It looks short on you. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. I was thinking it wasn't going to be as cool when we were walking up to it, just because of the, uh, I don't know, I just thought it would be all gated off and everything, but this is really cool. <laughs> cool meaning we're terrified of dropping to our death at every point. Yeah, much better than having <laughs> railings everywhere. We have railings here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I think it's gorgeous. I love it. I love fortresses. Today is like my ideal day. We have a fortress and a waterfall. Oh, my two that's favorite true. things. <laughs> so yeah, that spoils it. The waterfall's next. Yes. Otherwise, no. Ideal would be Warmth. 20 degrees warmer. Yeah. To so the waterfall? It's crazy how much more intact the fortress looks looking outside of it. It seems like so much of it from the inside hasn't been preserved or just is, you know, it's mostly this broken remnants around but from the outside it looks pretty much completely intact which is pretty crazy the walls are so beautiful to look at from the outside i can hear it but you can't see it from here wow that's so pretty Are those tennis balls? What are those? They look like tennis balls. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's where she keeps her stash. is seriously one of the most is charming the word I think so. like charming areas old towns that we've been in it just yeah. feels so magical and picturesque it's just amazing it feels especially with all the exchange offices yes that does it it just other than the exchange <laughs> the right, offices to the right it looks it's it's to yeah, the right and yeah. behind us it looks really amazing yeah it just it feels so historic and just well kept and the bathhouses with the dome roofs is so beautiful and then all these colorful buildings with the overhanging balconies like it's just i don't know how it could get any better this is so amazing the tiling on that building right oh, there yeah. is one of the coolest things i've ever seen that's actually yeah. the bath that we went in a few days ago it looks so cool from the outside the inside is really cool too it's all like um stone brickwork on the inside and tiling and stuff yeah but the outside is just like I didn't really know much about what to expect. I've only seen videos of Turkish baths and I didn't know how much Georgian baths were similar to that. But I was really surprised here when we were looking for one. In most cases, in a lot of the bathhouses, you can actually book private rooms. So that like, I was picturing was really it. Nice. Yeah, I was, I was picturing it, at least from what I've heard about, like I said, the Turkish baths. You pretty much always are in like a, 
a room, a big room separated by gender, and nobody's wearing anything. Like, no swimsuits, <laughs> no kind of clothes. And so it's like, well, dang, that sucks. We're not going to be able to do anything together, obviously. And every week here, you're able to have private rooms. You're able to wear swimsuits. Like, it was just, it was really comfortable. And it was just such a cool experience. You get the very, very rough scrub down and enjoy a hot tub and a cold bath and we got a room with a sauna the sauna was awesome and it was awesome it was so good especially when it's cold outside like coming out of that was perfect yes and you still can do if you're not looking for like a couple experience you can do a public bath i think there were there were honestly it seems like there's more private bath options here than public baths but you still can do a public bath it's much much cheaper and definitely i'd imagine a more local experience than getting the private one but yeah. but we loved the experience in previous videos from places like Bulgaria and Montenegro, I've raved about how much I think the Cyrillic alphabet just looks so cool. And what I, one of the main things that I love about this place, and it's a small thing, but I love it, their alphabet is just absolutely crazy. It looks so cool. It looks like a, like, it kind of looks like a bunch of W's. Squiggles. There, there's there's like tons squiggles. of squiggles. It's crazy. I don't, I, <laughs> so many of the letters look indistinguishable from each other. I think it's going to be a lot more difficult to be able to pronounce stuff in um, the Georgian alphabet uh, versus the Cyrillic alphabet. But the other cool thing is there is a big Russian population here. So they have the Cyrillic alphabet everywhere too. So for my like nerd loving, um, <laughs> for my nerdiness about the different alphabets, this is such a cool place to be. Well. I'm sorry this video kind of flopped. We <laughs> we really didn't realize how much more rest we needed after a long day yesterday. So we really didn't do very much today. Um, I guess part of that is it being, you know, November and the sun set super early. So we also just ran out of light and didn't really want to walk around in the dark. But we're leaving Tbilisi tomorrow, but we will be back in a few days. So this was just a good introduction to the city and we'll show you more of it when we're back in a few days. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.